Hi guys and welcome to another 7 minute lecture. We are reaching into the hornet's nest with a controversial topic once again. Political correctness. Is it good or is it bad? Now before I start, yes, I am aware that the answer is not a basic dichotomy like that. That it's an oversimplification of a complex issue. But as you all know, this is simply my attempt to voice my thoughts in 7 minutes. Nothing more and nothing less. So let's get into it. If I was having this conversation with you guys a decade ago, I feel like the contrarian side would have been what I started with. As in, I think I would have spent most of my time defending the right to be rude rather than defending political correctness. But it seems like political correctness itself has become such an easy target in the modern discourse that I've got to flip the script now and defend it first. There are probably good reasons for why people disdain it now, perhaps because the proponents of political correctness have themselves driven people away in droves, but I still think in theory that it's a valid concept worth preserving in some of its forms. Because let's not forget that fundamentally political correctness is not about censorship or cancel culture or being woke or sneering at people or any of that. At a fundamental level, it's simply about politeness. It's about being polite and courteous to people and making sure that it's not acceptable in modern society to humiliate people based on their identity. And as frenzied as it might seem today, one has to empathize with why it got this way. We can't deny that we've been living in a world for millennia where people have been marginalized, dehumanized and so on. And we can't deny that the modern culture of political correctness has played a huge role in rectifying this. Of course, it's not completely rectified yet, but we've come a long, long way thanks to PC culture. Racial slurs can no longer be uttered with the sort of easy, casual air with which it used to be possible. Sexist remarks can no longer be made with the effortless entitlement uh, that they were once made with. All kinds of remarks that were once used to suppress people through humiliation aren't loved anymore. And that's the key issue here. Political correctness is not simply a device through which liberalism shuts people up. Its original enemy was the way in which labels and words were constantly used to keep people down by insulting them, to keep people down from celebrating their own identity by embarrassing them with the power of verbiage. And if it's all about power, if you think about it, right, the, because the powerful in any society have always had their own version of political correctness. There have been different names for it, honor, chivalry, etiquette, custom, duty. The powerful have never had to grasp these issues for themselves in any meaningful sense because, believe it or not, they simply have no idea how it actually feels. They might think they do because... The powerful are usually convinced that they know everything and they sometimes claim to be the victims as well. But they simply don't have the same tangible experience of oppression, of humiliation that the weak do. You will never truly know what it's like to experience something until you actually have. And in that sense, for subverting uh, conventional wisdom, for questioning orthodoxy, for making sure that disparaging someone cannot itself become a sign of superiority. For all of those things, I think political correctness is important and it does deserve a place in modern society. With all that said, let me come to the easy part of flogging the dead horse because everybody has already done this and I think in most circles, at least if you are one of the few fans of my channel, I am pretty sure you will have already heard a thousand different arguments and examples for why and how PC culture is now completely out of control. Because it is, it really is. Political correctness these days seems to be a lot more about dividing people, about virtue signaling, about establishing moral hierarchies in which, ironically, the person preaching political correctness is on the top tier, a lot more about weaponizing words, about censoring humor and things like that than it is about any of the things that I mentioned earlier. It no longer seems to be a check on the vanity of the powerful. It's instead become yet another instrument through which people are bludgeoned and shamed. I'm not going to rehash all the 
uh, the tired old arguments ripping apart PC culture. But I will mention one of my favorites made by the famous leftist philosopher Slavoj Žižek. Žižek often argues that political correctness is the ultimate form of totalitarianism because traditional authoritarianism is blunt, it's straightforward, it's transparently visible and doesn't pretend to be moral. Political correctness, on the other hand, does everything that traditional authoritarianism does, but on top of that, it also tries to grab this moral pedestal. And Zizek gives a very simplistic but interesting example. He says, let's say your father wants to make you visit your grandmother. A traditional authoritarian father would just say, look, we're going to go visit your grandmother, get ready and let's go. Your opinion doesn't matter. But what would a sort of postmodern, non-authoritarian father do? He would be like, I'm not forcing you to visit her, but she's old, she would love to see you, but you need to go visit her only if you feel like it. And in the latter scenario, Zizek argues, there's a much stronger pressure that comes with that free choice. Because not only is your father telling you that you must visit your grandmother, but that you must love to visit her as well. He tells you how you should feel about it. It's, it's almost controlling your thoughts that it should be your choice. It's a moral decision now. And while that comparison might seem frivolous to some, I think it still captures the essence of why PC culture has become so disdained all over the political spectrum. Well, most parts of the political spectrum, at least. Because while the intention behind it might be sincere, the impact it has on the psyche can be very sinister. And when we look at the ways in which people's careers can be destroyed for saying things 20 years ago, the ways in which people can be rapidly attacked by the custodians of morality for things that were said in a completely different context, this notion that anything a person says can be twisted into an offensive remark, a dehumanizing remark, where we see sort of uh, uh, instances where people are kind of forced to agree because they don't want to be labeled as a racist or a sexist or whatever. It really rings through because ultimately political correctness originally worked and helped in making great strides forward by being an avenue facilitating further discussion. While today political correctness, some argue, has become the exact opposite. It's become an avenue through which further discussion is shut down rather than encouraged. Is there an easy way out for any of this or an easy answer for any of this? Of course not. And that is perhaps the triumph and the tragedy of political correctness. If you like content like this, please don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you, take care and I'll see you soon.